What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your backpack sprayer while also putting out some humic acid. So let's go ahead and do that. So in order to calibrate your backpack sprayer, take off my glasses, you're going to need a sprayer, some kind of measuring device, and your smartphone or stopwatch or whatever. Because basically what you're going to see is the first thing you're going to do is see how fast it takes to, for your sprayer to pump out one gallon of liquid. And then the second part is you're actually going to try to map out a 1,000 square foot area because pretty much every liquid, um, here I have some humic acid, um, you're going to see uh, it says you know, it's a gallon per 1,000 square feet. So then you're going to see how fast or like your walking speed to make sure you cover 1,000 square feet evenly within the time frame that you just did for pumping a gallon of liquid. That's too much. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is I just have a one quart measuring glass. So I'm going to see how long it takes to fill one quart, times that by four, because there's four quarts in a gallon, and that will give me a rough estimate about how long it takes to pump out one gallon of liquid with this sprayer. Now, if you have a battery, battery operated sprayer, it's a little bit easier for you than it is this pump one because you'll most of the time have a consistent flow. For this one, you know, you have to constantly pump it up to keep it, keep it pressurized. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how long it takes to uh, fill one quart of liquid. Don't know how well you can see that. It takes one minute and 21 seconds to fill one quart of liquid out of that sprayer. So doing the math, times it, multiplying that by four, because there's four quarts and a gallon. So it gives me about five minutes and four seconds, give or take, um, to pump one gallon of, uh, to pump out one gallon of liquid from this backpack sprayer. So therefore, now in my strip here, go ahead and show you. In the strip here, it's I mapped out. It's about a little over a thousand square feet, but I found the actual thousand square feet mark. So now I'm going to fill my backpack back up with one gallon of liquid and walk the one thousand square feet, figure out my pace, and see if I can get out an even coverage of the liquid in the five minutes and four seconds. All right. <clears throat> So it's a learning lesson. Um, I'm practically at a product and I'm still counting down. Got a minute, nine, eight, seven. So that tells me I need to slow down my pace. I'm a little bit too quick. So I was walking a little bit too fast. I was doing more of a, a normal walk. I need to be more casual with my stroll and we should be good. So let's go ahead and get some humic acid in this thing. For the humic acid, I have this Simple Grow Solutions uh, Root Booster Humic and Fulvic. Um, I saw Ryan Knorr um, use this and he really talked it up and other people on the, there's my timer, Lawn Care Forum. The um, Lawn Care Nut Facebook group also talk about it. It's cheaper uh, for this 32 ounce bottle. It was $16 on Amazon, I think. So uh, similar products cost a little bit more than that if you get bags of humic acid. Sometimes those are pretty expensive, especially locally, and then you have to ship them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try, and um, it takes four ounces of product per gallon of water. So because the front yard is about 2,500 square feet, that's gonna be 10 ounces of this liquid uh, in the front yard for <clears throat> um, three gallons of water. So that's what I'm going to be doing there. Then the front here, we're just going to go basic four ounces for 1,000 square feet and uh, call that a day. So let's go ahead and put this stuff down. Learning point for next time, put the full water in first and then put the humic acid in. Stuff bubbles like soap. Wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and throw her down.
I'll admit, I was a dumb dumb. My math was poor. I wasn't supposed to use three gallons of water because that's for 3,000 square feet. I was supposed to use two and a half gallons of water for the 10 ounces of humic acid. So, I mean, I still got it all out. Um, still the same, it's the correct amount of humic acid, it's just more diluted. So, um, but that shouldn't matter, because like I said, and I got it down evenly, two passes, um, east and west, north and south, so that's fine. Now, let's go ahead, get stripped. Like I said, it's gonna be an even 1,000, so, well, a little bit more, but, um, so, 1,000 square feet. So it gets just the four ounces of humic acid for that, uh, for one gallon. So it's just one gallon of product here. Perfect that time. So nailed it right on time. So humic acid is down. Um, about what I want, you know, I said I wanted about uh, 10 ounces of the product here on this side, and the four over there, so that's 14 of the 32 ounces, so I still have, you know, another full um, application left with that humic acid using this sprayer. If you use the hose end sprayers, it's like not nearly as much, you gotta put down a little bit heavier, I think it's like 8 ounces per gallon or something like that or eight ounces per thousand square feet so um, that's why I prefer to use this versus the hose and or the yeah the hose end sprayer but so yeah that's putting down the humic acid um, you know humic acid is good for the soil it helps uh, um, the grass the roots um, get those nutrients that may be locked up um, so and it's not like a one application cure-all type of deal it's a constant thing you constantly constantly gotta be putting down humic acid um, <clears throat> Cause it's not like I said it doesn't fix the soil with one application it's gonna constantly get that feeding so this is all part of the, the process so anyway that's it for this video on the next video I'll be doing my second mow um, which I'm actually gonna do some try to do some stripes on that one because once you do the first mow you, every other mow you can treat it like normal so anyway I'll see you guys on the next one thank you for watching have a great day and God bless